Hello everyone. Welcome back to our English learning series. Today, we'll learn how to say what we don't do in English. That's right, we're focusing on present simple negative statements. You'll also learn five new words today. Busy, free, often, never, and always. So let's get started. Part one, grammar. The present simple tense is used to talk about things we do regularly. But what if we want to talk about things we don't do? We use the negative form with don't or doesn't. For example, See how we use don't with I, you, we, and they, and doesn't with he, she, and it? Easy, right? Now let's try it with our new words. Part 2 Vocabulary 1. Busy when you have a lot to do. For example, I'm busy today. 2. Free when you have nothing to do. For example, I'm free this afternoon. 3. Often something that happens many times for example i often go to the gym four never something that does not happen at all for example i never eat fast food five always something that happens all the time for example he always eats breakfast now let's put these words into action part three listening exercise Listen to this short story and see if you can hear our grammar and vocabulary words. Tom is a very busy person. He works every day and often has meetings in the evening. But Tom doesn't work on Saturdays. He is free and he never works on the weekend. On Sundays, Tom is always with his family. They don't go to the office and they don't have meetings. They often go to the park Tom doesn't like to be busy all the time. Reading practice. Now, here's the same story for you to read. Let's practice together. Tom is a very busy person. He works every day and often has meetings in the evening. But Tom doesn't work on Saturdays. He is free and he never works on the weekend. On Sundays, Tom is always with his family. They don't go to the office and they don't have meetings. They often go to the park. Tom doesn't like to be busy all the time. Part 5. Comprehension and Vocabulary Questions Great job! Now, let's see if you remember the story. Answer these questions. 1. When does Tom never work? Two, what does Tom often do in the evening? Three, when is Tom free? Four, Tom is always with his family on. Answer review. Let's review the answers together. Great work today! You've learned how to use the present simple negative and practiced five new words busy, free, often, never and always. Don't forget to use these in your conversations this week. In the next episode, we'll learn how to ask questions in the present simple. See you soon!